by default, pivot tables come with this format. I usually prefer to come to design and report layout and showing tabular form. If I go undo, you see here how we get both the category and the description in the same column A, but I want to separate these in two columns. So uh, doing what I just did, again, design, I need to click in one of the cells of the pivot table, design, and then report layout and uh, showing tabular form. Now I have the category in column A and the description in column B. I'm going to come here to view and uncheck the grid line so that we have a cleaner view of our pivot table. Then we can take care of the design of our pivot table if, you, if we want. Before that, we can also come here to, you see how it came with the, this automatic name, sum of monthly amount. We could probably call it total amount. The only thing we cannot call it is a name that already exists in our list of fields in the pivot table. To do that, I could just double click and edit there, or I can come here and value field uh, settings and change the name here. So I'm going to change the name for total amount, AMT, even to be shorter, okay? And I want to sum the values that we have in our data, so that's correct. And we can also come to the number uh, format and we can, for example, choose currency. And we can either leave the symbol for the currency, we prefer dollars, euros, or any other, or maybe even choose none. I'm going to choose none so that's not so cluttered in our report. And I'm going to say OK. So now, without doing anything else, we got all the results already formatted for us. OK, let me save. And I was talking about changing the pivot table layout. So let's do that. You can maybe like the layout as is. This is the default layout when we click and go to design. We see that we have different options here. Uh, so if we if you move and choose other options, you see the, the effect it has in your report. I usually like to have the total rows, if I want to see total rows or subtotal rows, have them on a different color, color so it's easier to distinguish. We already have that a little bit different because we have these rows showing in bold. If you want to change the pivot table layout, one way of doing it is come to design and where we have the different designs. The one that we are using, if it is the, the closer one to the aspect to the design we want, Pick that one and then right click and duplicate. Then you can give it another name. For example, snap report blue. Something, any name you want. And here we have the different things that we can format. I am going to change the format for subtotal row one. Click there, format. And in the field, filling, I'm going to, shoo, to choose uh, a light blue. OK. And I'm also going to change the grand total row format. And I'm going to change the font to red, dark red, in fact, bold and italic. So this one. OK. And finally, I want to see borders around the table and also a fine line in between each one of the month columns. So to do that, I'm going to come here to the whole table format and where it says borders, I'm going to maybe choose a light blue or this blue here, the dashed type of line, style of line, and indicate that I want that in the vertical lines inside the table. And then I'm going to keep the same color, maybe just the continuous line there, and choose as outline for my table. And I'm not going to choose anything for 
the horizontal line. So let's see what that gives us. We will click OK and we don't see any result because we are still selecting the same style as before. We now have the custom style that we created. And if we click there, we can see the result. Maybe it's better or not. It's a personal preference. I like it this way. And at least now, those who were not aware who how you could change and uh, customize the format of your pivot tables, you have an example and you can explore the different options. Another thing that's important to know is that if you try to come here and it doesn't let you modify, it's probably because you have one of your worksheets protected. So that's another tip. If you have at least one sheet in your workbook that is protected, even if it is a sheet that doesn't have a pivot table, Excel doesn't let you change, modify the style. So you, unfortunately, it's kind of weird, but that's how it is. You need to unprotect your sheets and then do your work and then protect them back again if you need to do that.